Welcome to our series of orthoptic educational videos. This is Laura May and Jessica Harder from the University of Minnesota Department of Ophthalmology and Visual Sciences. In this video, we will be discussing dynamic retinoscopy. Dynamic retinoscopy is used to determine how easily a patient is able to accommodate on a near target after spending some time fixing on distance, and then how easily that patient is able to relax the accommodation in order to see a distance object clearly after fixing at near. Patients you may consider performing dynamic retinoscopy on include those who have asthenopic complaints while reading or who complain of blurred vision at near. You may also see patients in your clinic who have reading disabilities or difficulties, and you'll want to assess their dynamic retinoscopy to see if their accommodation is playing a role in those reading difficulties. Other patients that are good for this test are those who are predisposed to accommodated insufficiency, like those with trisomy 21 or those with recent concussions or um, traumatic brain injuries. It's also been reported that dynamic retinoscopy is a good predictor of if accommodative isotropia will develop in infants with a moderate to high hyperopic cycloplegic refraction. Next, we'll be performing dynamic retinoscopy. Okay, so to perform this test, you are going to have your patient wearing their best correction and have them fixate on a distance target that they can see clearly, but as, as small of a target as they can see clearly. With your retinoscope, you should see with motion and make sure to check different meridians to rule out any astigmatism. Now have your patient fixate on a near target and place both the target and the retinoscope in normal reading position. And when you check the reflex here, a normal reflex would be neutral or slightly against, and that would mean that they have good accommodation. A defective accommodation might show with motion still. After you've assessed your patient's near reflex, have them fixate on the distance target one more time. A normal response would be for the reflex to quickly convert to with motion again. If it seems to take a while for that with motion to revert back, then your patient may have a lag in the relaxation of accommodation. Another thing to consider when performing this test is that if you see an abnormal near reflex, you should have your patient read the letters out loud to you or look at a smaller line so that you can ensure that they really are attempting to accommodate before diagnosing them with accommodative insufficiency. Thank you for viewing our series on orthoptic educational videos.